Okay, now when you first get the cartridges, you got to, this is very important, you got to take out that little round storage plug that comes with the cartridge. Each one has it. Just take them out. Now, you might want to save that. You can always use it if you lost the, the fill plug, which is the color one, because they're both the same size. But you want to ever put those in the cartridge when they're in the printer, because if you leave them in, you could damage the print it. Okay, as I always show you this, I take a little cardboard box and I make it so it makes it easier to, to refill because it holds the ink bottle and I can even put my syringe here and I use an old plastic cup. I mean you can cut one out of a little water bottle or something and then this way the, it'll hold the cartridge up like this so you don't have to worry about knocking it over. So this is a cartridge we have filled before but we're going to show you how to fill them when you get them. Remember, you got to take out that little storage plug. I still got it in this when I took it out. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to fill the little cup up with ink. And we're going to add ink to the cartridge. I, I believe these cartridges hold about 12 to 14 milliliters of ink. You don't want to overfill it so the ink spills out of the that air supply hole. You don't want to put too much in like that. Okay, we're going to put it in, and then we're going to show you how to put on the uh, brother chip, because you need to do that. You're going to pour some ink into the little plastic container, okay, and then we'll take out, we give you a syringe with a special tip. It's a plastic tip so it can't damage the cartridge. We don't use steel tips. So you're going to draw up a com complete syringe about 10 to 12 milliliters of plug and go slow. You can watch it fill up. Now that's about 10 milliliters. So I'm going to put maybe another milliliter or two in it. I don't want to fill it up so high that it comes out the vent, the air vent side. Okay, that's about it. Now you can put the rest back in the, the bottle. And you don't need to wash out these syringes. Now, some of the syringes are going to say a discard after use. Those are veterinarian syringes. You, don't, you just don't want to do that. You don't even have to wash them out. Okay, we're going to put the color plug back in, the fill hole, and that's it. So that's how quick and easy it was. Now, I want to point this out. Some of the Brother cartridges, like on the refillables, it's wide open here in the front. Some brother cartridges, brother closed it in. So, with the cartridges, we gave you these little, oh, you could say um, blocks that go in, in there. Don't put them in if your your brother cartridges is not solid all the way across the front here. Don't do it. When you do put them in, it'll look like that. Like I said, it doesn't. You don't need them for 203s or 205 uh, LC 205 cartridges. But if you find one, brother cartridge, at least on yours, if that area is solid, then you got to put in that little plastic block we gave you. Now we'll go ahead and put um, chip on. So I'll get one of the cartridges that does not have a chip, and then I'll get one of the brother cartridges and we'll show you how to take the chip off. Okay, there's the chip. Show you how to take that chip off. There you go. Now these little buttons, I'm going to zoom in on them. That's what's holding the chip on. Yes, take them off carefully. Don't cut yourself, just take your time. There you go, there. Okay. Now we'll be able to peel that chip up. Now you got to remember, watch the way the chip comes off because we want to put it on the refillable cartridge the same way. Comes off. Now it's going to slide on two little, there's two little um, tracks. I'll see if I can get close here. See now, there you go. There, that's it. We've already got it in. And now we're going to reset that chip back to full. You, you don't want it to go below 15%. Sometimes the chips 
when you do that will not reset. So the chip resetter ha lines up on the chip and you wait from it's going to go from red to green. So you want to make sure you line it up correctly. There, just went to green, you're done. Take it away. And that's it. That's how simple it was to fill and reset the chip.